V for Vendetta movie review. So I saw this movie a little bit late because it came to the theaters late uh, in Viet sorry in Japan where I was living at the time. Uh, I did kind of catch some of the buzz about it before it came out. Um, my cousin on his weblog uh, was a fan of the movie and quoted from it, "If I can't dance, I don't want to be in your revolution." And uh, being the history buff that I am. I immediately recognized that as an Emma Goldman quote, and I thought, well, any movie that's quoting Emma Goldman, I mean, imagine this, a mainstream Hollywood movie quoting Emma Goldman, that's got to be all right in my book. Unfortunately, however, now that I've seen the movie, that little quote is the only reference to Emma Goldman that I could find. Uh, Neither Emma Goldman nor any other anarchists are mentioned by name in this movie. Instead, the historical figure that the movie revolves around, or takes its inspiration from, is Guy Fawkes. And Guy Fawkes was not a leftist. I mean, whatever legitimate grievances Guy Fawkes might have had against the British Parliament, I think, I think they were kind of persecuting Catholics at the time. He was not an anarchist. Guy Fawkes was a Catholic extremist who wanted to replace Protestant rule with Catholic rule. Guy Fawkes would not have approved of Emma Goldman or any other anarchist platform. Now I understand that Guy Fawkes has been co-opted as a symbol of resistance to government, but if every right-wing kook who wants to blow up government buildings becomes an anarchist symbol, then are anarchists going to be wearing Timothy McVeigh t-shirts in 400 years? Now, of course, Guy Fox is just a symbol, but it's emblematic of the problem with this whole movie. The level of political sophistication in the movie never rises above the level of Guy Fox. The solution advocated in this movie is simply blow stuff up. Blow up enough buildings and apparently the masses will spontaneously arise and create a utopian society. No platform or organizing work necessary, I guess. Now, right now you're thinking that I'm just taking this movie too seriously. Us political types are never much fun to go to the movies with. I should just grab some popcorn, watch the cool fight scenes, watch the explosions, and be grateful that at the very least, this isn't another one of those patriotic war movies. I should just be happy that at least it's a Hollywood movie with some subversive themes woven in and not scrutinize it too much for doctrinal correctness. And I tried, I really tried, to watch the movie with that attitude. I went, in, I went into the theater telling myself I wasn't going to take the movie too seriously. But what spoils this is that the movie takes itself too seriously. Any movie that stops the action frequently to preach at you is hard to just enjoy as a popcorn movie. Now, I've not read the original Ellen Moore graphic novel on which the movie is based, so I can't really comment on it. Uh, based on chatter on the internet, I'm given to understand that the original graphic novel is much better uh, and that they took out all the complex stuff or all the good stuff for the Hollywood movie. There are websites that talk about this, aforanarchy.org, for example. Uh, might be interesting to check it out, but I can't comment myself.